Hey everyone, my name is Nigel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a review of the 3D LUT Creator. Now, before we start, I will say that I was given a free copy of this program, but as with all of my reviews, I'm not required to say anything nice about it, and this is going to be my honest and unbiased review. So if you don't know what a LUT is, basically it's like a preset for your videos, kind of like what you would use on like Instagram with like the Visco filters and stuff. And what this program allows you to do is it allows you to create your own presets or your own LUTs that you can use on video footage or on photos with like Photoshop or something like that. And so what this allows you to do is actually just create your own look and then export it into a file that you can then use on things like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Lightroom, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna give you a really brief overview. I am in no way a professional colorist, but up until this point, I've been doing all of my color grading on DaVinci Resolve, but I really like being able to really dial in everything and having a standalone program like this is actually pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do a really quick grade on this shot right here that I shot with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. This is just a screenshot. I took a high quality screenshot from Premiere and then I just brought it into the program. So what I'm gonna do now is just try to grade it because this is a pretty flat shot and this was shot in ProRes in the flat picture profile of the Pocket Cinema camera. So what I'm gonna do is try to grade this and then I'm gonna export it and then I'm going to use that LUT in Premiere and see if the result is exactly the same as you would see on the little preview screen here. So right here we have our color tab. So all these little points uh, represent a value in like the color spectrum here. Moving any of these is going to um, affect the color that it's in. So you know the greens, the reds, the purples, blues, all that. And when you move it more towards the center, it gets more desaturated. This is almost too much for me. I could probably get away with just having six. So what I'm gonna do is try to bring the color back a little bit. And the first thing I'm actually gonna do is just add a little bit of saturation because this is a very desaturated image. So I'm gonna add some saturation here. Um, yeah, it's up to like 200% and that's still not very saturated. And I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna add some contrast. This is just very basic. So I'm just trying to get it to where I can actually see what colors I'm gonna be working with. And then I'm gonna start messing with the greens a little bit because the greens are very desaturated. So I'm gonna add a little more saturation from like the mid-tone greens. And then the shadows, I'll probably just leave those pretty flat. And then usually the skin tones are around the yellow and red areas. So I'm gonna bring those up a little bit. And you'll actually see the bark starting to change. And then I'm just gonna bring these up a little bit. And his blue shirt, I can probably add a little bit of saturation to that if I really wanted to bring his blue shirt out a bit. And I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth to this shot just because I typically like my stuff a little bit warmer. And then right here is the dynamic range and this is a really high dynamic range shot so this will actually add a little bit more contrast to it. If you pull it further away, it'll take the contrast and add a little more dynamic range. And so right there is probably where I would leave it because that looks pretty true to what it actually looked like that day. What you can also do is go to your curves. And what I'm gonna do here is, this is the luminance curve. So I'm going to, if I wanted to add a little bit of a fade to it, I could take the blacks up a bit and that'll add a slight fade to my footage. That's actually a little bit too much for me. Then sat versus loom, actually take that down a bit. And the luma versus sat. It's really nice you can mess with each of these individually so you can see what they all do. Then the saturation versus saturation. But with the luma versus sat, I like to just bring that down a little bit. And then with the luminance, I'm gonna take the mid tones up just a little bit because I feel like it's a little flat. That's probably good. I'm gonna bring the highlights down just a bit. 
And then to my eye, that looks pretty good. And you can press C and that'll do a compare. So we can see here that this is the before and that's the after. So I actually really like that. And what I'm gonna do now is just export it. So you go to file, go to export, export 3D LUT file. What we can do is make sure this is a dot cube. That's what I usually use. I'm gonna name this forest BMPCC. And then you'll see a little thing right here that says 3D LUT saved. And now what we can do is we can actually go into Premiere and we can find the piece of footage that I was using. So what I did is I just, I took a high quality screenshot of this clip. And what we're able to do now is go to the color tab and then go to creative and right here at looks, we can go browse. And I just made this one, the forest BMPCC uh, warm LUT the dot cube file you just press open and now we have that LUT on this footage and as you can see it looks exactly how I color graded it in the 3d LUT program and honestly I really like how this looks it's got a little bit of a fade to it all the colors are like true to how they were on the day of and that's just such an easier way and a much better way to like fine-tune your colors within the 3d LUT creator than it would be within Adobe Premiere. So I'm really stoked on this. And what's pretty cool is that online, they have a bunch of different tutorials, which I've actually been watching because as I said, I'm not a professional colorist by any means, but they have a bunch of tutorials showing you how to use each feature of the program. This program is about $64, but I would say it's definitely worth it if you're looking to start creating your own LUTs. And if you really wanted to, you could start creating your own LUTs and then making them available online, which I think is pretty cool. So that was my quick review of the 3D LUT creator. I'm actually really stoked on this program and I'm stoked to like learn a lot more of how to use it and it'll just make the whole process so much better and I'll be able to fine tune everything way better than I used to. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this program if you wanna start creating your own LUTs and even you know putting them available online or something like that. This is a great program to do that with. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button and I'll have a link to where you can go to to check out 3d LUT creator but uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll check you guys in the next video